Hello and welcome to AutoBoot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikrishna. Today we are going to learn about how you can refresh the existing pivot table using refresh pivot table activity and how you can change the source of the pivot table using change source activity. Okay. So uh, if you go to activities and if you search for pivot, okay. We can see uh, there are three activities that is uh, change pivot data source activity, create pivot uh, table activity and refresh pivot table activity. Create pivot table activity is already covered in the last video. If you haven't watched that video, I have provided the link in the description. You can watch that. Uh, actually, that is a very useful activity if you are doing some reporting based on uh, some analysis. Okay, so this uh, refresh pivot table activity where it is helpful means like just consider you have some set of data. Okay, so just consider um, this is one pivot table which got generated based on this set of data. Okay, and uh, every hour you need to send a report of your uh, pivot table. Okay, uh, send a statistics of the pivot to your uh, manager or to your client. Okay, but uh, every hour there will be a change of data will happen. Okay, so just consider here we have the role in companies there, right? So uh, every hour these uh, values are going to get changed. Okay, uh, so that is dynamic. So uh, what will happen each time after if you are making some changes, it should reflect in the pivot also, right? We already have a pivot which we created. So whatever the values that is going to change in the data that should get reflected in the pivot table, right? So let me show you one thing like uh, here uh, you can see uh, for waterfront company uh, we have one accountant is there, right? So I'm going to change the role to scientist, okay? I'm going to save it and I'm going back to pivot. Okay, so waterfront still the status is accountant. Okay, still it is not uh, going to scientist. It means the pivot is not uh, refreshed. So manually in uh, uh, Excel, what you can do, you can right click on this, right click on your pivot uh, table. Okay, and click on refresh. Okay, so if you did that, you can see uh, earlier for waterfront one employee was there with uh, advisor, and now it has changed it to. Uh, scientist right so uh, that's how you can refresh the uh, pivot table using uh, a refresh refresh button right in excel so if you want to do the same thing with automation or with UI path what you can do you can use the refresh pivot table action okay and change pivot data source is nothing but like we have to provide one source right so uh, actually here for this pivot table this is the source right and for each execution or each hour you want to change this source file to something different okay but the pivot uh, table layout will be same which, is, which will be having the same uh, column names but the data or the pivot table or the data source you are going to change each time then what you can do you can use this change pivot data source activity okay i will show you that with an example for a refresh pivot activity, I already created a uh, sample code. Okay, so using this sample code only, I have created this uh, pivot table. Sorry, uh, this pivot table, and the name of the pivot table is my data. Okay, so that is a, a table name. So just consider like uh, if you are working for a support team. Okay, you need to monitor the uh, status of the servers um, uh, every uh, one hour. Okay, so you need to run the auto, uh, you need to do the statistics or you need to uh, uh, check the status of the servers in uh, UAT environment and in production. Okay, then uh, what you have to do, you need to uh, check the uh, status of the servers in UAT, then you have to check the status of uh, the servers in production and you need to prepare a um, uh, d uh, document like this, right? You need to prepare a tracker like this, maybe it will be it will come like this dev sorry uh, uat uat okay so just consider it is coming like this server one 
server to like this it is coming okay and here we are getting the status as passed and here we are getting the status as uh, failed for this and uh, for this also you are going to check the data for production right and uh, for production also you have some set of uh, servers with you okay and you are going to uh, get the status of the server and you need to uh, share a summary summary of the total passed and fail out of the production as well as uh, the UAT to the customer okay or uh, to the uh, server maintenance team okay so uh, what you'll have to do you need to uh, prepare a uh, document like this from there you will have to prepare a pivot table and from there you will have to get the pivot table and you need to send it via email right so uh, let me execute uh, this script okay run file A very useful activity if you are going for uh, this kind of uh, uh, server monitoring or some service monitoring like that uh, in different scenarios you can utilize this uh, uh, pivot um, functionality in the excel okay so let me go to my mailbox okay here i received one email okay so here you can see hi team please find status of employee position and i can see the <coughs> name of the company and the different uh, positions which are there and the total number right total number of employees and the grand total is uh, total 10 and here you can see the company wise grand total okay so for the next one hour this value is going to change and your boat is uh, going to fetch this data from some source and you need to send it again okay so at that purpose you can use the refresh uh, pivot activity okay so i hope you are clear about that so uh, i will tell you how to use this activity and how you can uh, uh, convert that to an email okay so actually uh, here we need to utilize some html functionality for converting that to a, a table format okay in the mail body we are going to insert this table so uh, uh, some html uh, functionality is coming into picture maybe i will be doing that as a separate video and this sent smtp mail message i already covered as a separate video i will be providing that link in the email description okay so what i'm going to do is um, let me comment both of this okay invoice also i'm going to comment and we can start from the scratch okay so range refresh pivot okay this is nothing but like uh, the create a pivot table using this only i created that uh, uh, pivot table this pivot table okay and uh, i'm going to delete this one as well okay i'm going to comment uh, this activity okay let it be like this then uh, let's start from the beginning what you need to do we need to use a uh, use excel activity okay we need to use use excel file activity drag and drop it we need to uh, add the workbook details click on this folder uh, icon then choose the respective of workbook file that is challenge.xlss file okay so what are the changes that is going to happen it should auto or auto save and if the file is doesn't exist if you don't want to create a new one you can just uh, um, disable this okay i'm going to disable this and what is the next step here you are opening the challenge Excel file then you need to refresh the pivot table right so just drag and drop this uh, uh, refresh pivot table and here just click on this plus symbol click on excel okay uh, then uh, here you can see in sheet 2 it is showing one pivot table name okay because in this excel only in this sheet 2 only we have a pivot table okay so autobot sorry uh, uipath is automatically identifying the pivot table and it it is uh, helping us to navigate to that particular uh, pivot name 
okay that is my data okay so let me save it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make some changes in this data okay so just consider i'm going to change this scientist to it specialist and uh, uh this medicare is having it specialist okay so i'm going to change it to rpa developer okay then we have a hr manager is there i'm going to change it to finance oh, manager okay i made all these changes and i'm not going to refresh it manually and here you can see we don't have any positions like rpa developer or finance manager right we have hr manager but we changed the name to finance manager and now it is not refreshed right so i'm going to refresh it using um our ui path workflow okay let me run the file So our execution is yet to start. So once it got complete, we can see the um, updated uh, pivot table. Okay. So now you can see our pivot table got updated. We can see the new roles that is RP developer, finance manager, and the HR manager got uh, removed because we updated the HR manager with the finance manager. Right. So this is the uh, updated pivot table. So this got refreshed with the UI path. Okay. So I hope you are clear about that concept and if you want to convert that um, uh, or if you want to add that to an email body you need to do some more steps that is you need to uh, read this pivot table okay let me show you how you can do that uh, let me use read range activity okay so just drag and drop read range activity and just click on add button go to excel then go to sheet 2 it is automatically showing uh, you the pivot table name okay you can choose that then you can create a uh, table name okay so whatever the name that you want you can uh, give that uh, okay then uh, if you want to uh, convert this data table to a string uh, you need to do some uh, actions or you need to do some html kind of uh, uh, data changes okay so those things i'll be covering as a separate video okay so this is just a video to showcase like where you can use the refresh pivot table and i just explained one use case uh, to help you to understand like where you can utilize this activity in your automation scenarios okay and here uh, um, let's go to our next activity as well that is uh, change pivot data source so let me drag and drop this uh, change pivot data source okay uh, here what is uh, asking like we need to choose the next set of data okay uh, so what is the next set of uh, sorry uh, what, what is the uh, pivot table that we want to use and what is the uh, next set of uh, data that we want to utilize okay so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to create a new file okay and uh, let me copy this paste it okay and i'm going to change this medicare name to youtube okay tech dev to google okay that's it save the file and here we select the source indicate in excel Select this confirm. Okay. Okay. So now what we have done, we changed the pivot uh, data source to an another sheet. Okay. But we are going to utilize the same pivot table, but with a different uh, data source. Right. Let me save this. Debug it.
consider you have some different set of um, uh, data that need to be updated like this okay but it is having the same column names and the rows name row name but you are getting it from different sources okay then you can utilize this activity to update the existing pivot table and to read this and if you want to send it by email to your respective uh, higher level you can uh, utilize this activity okay so now you can see the new company details got added that is youtube and google and here you can see the other strategic data okay so this is how you can utilize this change pivot table as well as refresh pivot table and you can um, send the summary report to your managers via email or if you want to keep it in the uh, workbook itself you can keep it okay so i hope you got a clear understanding about the usage of uh, the refresh pivot table activity change pivot uh, data source activity and where you can utilize this activity to uh, help out your automation uh, solution okay uh, so if you find this video uh, useful please like the video please subscribe our channel and please don't forget to give your valuable opinion opinions and please share with your friends okay so thanks for watching the video bye